Hello folks, well here's a vacuum cleaner I've been itching to get my hands on for quite a while. I've not been desperate to own one of these but uh, I thought if ever I saw one I'd like one. And uh, when I saw this one on eBay, I think it's unused, I was doubly excited. And when I won it, I was pretty pleased and I think I won it for quite a reasonable price. I can't remember now at the time of making the video but I think it was under £60 which for one of these, I think it's pretty good. This is an Electrolux Professional Wide Track Upright Vacuum Cleaner. And it says on the top here, sold from Alders, which is a defunct department store in the UK. And I was thinking, oh, I didn't think they'd sell something like this in a department store. But then I was reminded of a video, and you'll find it on my channel. It's a video featuring a younger James Dyson, and I, it's from the TV program This Morning, which I actually recorded myself back in the day. And they had a feature on vacuum cleaners and they showed this man demonstrating some various vacuums in a department store. Um, and you could see other cleaners like, uh, he was showing a Miele and there was a Hoover Aquamaster in the background. And also I think in the background was one of these. So they obviously did sell them in department stores. I don't know if that department store was Alders. I think it could have been Selfridges in London. I'm not sure. But anyway, enough of the chat. Let's open it. Certainly looks unused. The only thing I'm not keen on this vacuum, I believe it has a shakeout bag, which is okay in a commercial environment, but not in a domestic one. But this is a big commercial cleaner. Not quite as big as the scary Nilco, the beast, but uh, I think this will give Nilco a run for its money in the cleaning stakes. Right, let's have a look at it. Now I do know of this cleaner. Um, I had a leaflet with some Electrolux professional vacuums. My dad bought some home from work. He used to work uh, in the catering trade and um, he got the reps to bring some leaflets, including Electrolux Professional and a company, I don't know, I, I think they might be an American company. If you can comment below, it was called Clark, C-L-A-R-K-E, I think. And all I remember from the Clark brochure, it had a picture of a vacuum and it said, harvest money for your floors, whatever that means. That's a long time ago, I remember that from, from the 80s. So um, yeah, pretty sure that this is a shakeout bag. Um, I can possibly adapt it. It'd be interesting to see where this is made. I think probably my viewers from America and Canada, you probably got this vacuum cleaner under the Sanitaire brand. And it was possibly available under other brand names as well. Let's see if we've got a date. It's actually got February 1980 on this. Obviously that doesn't date the vacuum itself, it just dates when this was printed. And this is, well, I think this could be from the 80s or 90s, but it survived. No, it, it is completely, completely unused. Look at that, folks. Needs a bit of a, a vacuum. <laughs> but that, that's an unused vacuum bag we've got some instructions on here how to empty dust bag disconnect from power source before removing bag lower handle slightly and remove spring from handle unlock cam latch and remove bag from cleaner slide top of bag out of clamp and empty bag reverse sequence to attach bag to cleaner so this basically empties like some of those really old vacuums like my hoover 612 still using this sort of system Look at that lovely bit of chrome. A bit of chrome work there. This is lovely. If you're into retro design, this is certainly something that uh, you might like. Very basic looking handle, look at that. <sighs> bit of a hand. Needs a bit of a buff and a polish up. Warning, electric shock could occur if used outdoors or on wet surfaces. I won't be doing that. Inside here, we've got some spare belts. We'll probably take Hoover Senior belts. There's some clips there, that's probably the cord hooks. And there's the handle screws as well. And fitting instructions. So his, everything seems to be here. 
that will polish up nice bit of metal polish that's the lower handle very long flex by the looks of it now I don't know this was sold on eBay from um, a charity called the British Heart Foundation they have charity shops so they would have had to test this uh, for electrical safety before actually selling it so I don't know if this would have had the plug on it possibly would have done being a commercial model it might have had the plug fitted I'm not sure it does have a past oh no well obviously it's got a it's got 2017 on the plug so even if the plug was fitted it's certainly been tested but there is another swing tag a very sort of old-fashioned looking you used to get this sort of cardboard or paper swing tag on some old vacuums just about uh, how to wire the plug I don't know if it would have had one so so far so good look at that the mark of safety as you can see look I don't know how if you say Beeb or Biab approved anyway that stands for the British Electrotechnicals Approvals Board I'm not sure if they're still going and that's that symbol in there is what uh, we call a kite mark so that was what you'd look for to make sure you know if a vacuum cleaner was electrically safe you'd look for the kite mark so you'd know it was fine because I suppose back in the day you could get unscrupulous people now is that metal that's metal but the base is plastic it's not not quite as nice as possibly a shiny hood I did have a, a recent ish one uh, not a wide track I think it was banded sanitaire be interesting to see where this is manufactured I'll take these stickers off these these are what um, they've put on it says donor ID we've got uh, your height dial a nap height adjustment so they got so oh, it's made it's made in the USA folks I've just seen made in the USA so you've got uh, different settings for carpet and different settings for shag I love that word shag pile means something different in uh, England in the UK shag but uh, in this instance it means the pile of carpet so shag would have been quite a deep pile carpet so for this is for low medium and high carpet and then you've got a different setting for low medium and high shag pile but I don't expect in a commercial environment maybe in the 70s you'd have got some shag pile in some plush hotels so that just adjusts the height of course uh, you got a big lever here which is for your handle release and then just a little what operated on off let's have a look underneath folks it was pictured underneath on the listing so yes oh look at that look at that that's a beast it's huge it's a huge one and again it's very reminiscent it's reminiscent of the nilco but it's reminiscent the way it's set out um of a hoover senior it's reminiscent of my hoover 612 just obviously a bit more updated let's take that off that looks fine and dandy look at that probably will have to put a new belt so this is a plastic fan though see-through plastic fan actually that belt seems all right look at that look at that agitator we'll have a shot of that rotating shortly but wow that's going to beat the heck out of my carpets you've got the beta not it's not a single bar it's like beta nodules or pads and just two single strips you can probably get those still these brush rolls the belt might need changing it has because it's been in that position for a long time it's it's warped slightly but once it warms up in use it might be okay certainly for the purpose of a demo you got two two wheels they're the wheels that move up and down according to the setting and then two fixed six fixed wheels at the back yes it's I was right it's actually yes I said sanitaire well it could have been under the sanitaire brand or Eureka because I've just noticed made for Electrolux by the Eureka company it says here uh, it's a 550 watt motor and this is model let's just tilt it so I can see it I think that's a zero 
0216A, type and serial 21658. But uh, 40 to 60 hertz, 240 volts. So obviously it's a UK made, not UK made, a UK spec vacuum. But yeah, this is the same as you'd get uh, in America, but under Eureka. The Eureka Company, Bloomington, Illinois, USA. There's a sticker on this. I don't know if we can see what it says. Over 20,000 beats per minute. Lifetime lubricated ball bearings. <sighs> wow. No lubrication needed for this, for the life of the cleaner. This is gonna have a very easy life in my house, isn't it? Wow. Right then, folks, let's pop that back. Well, I'm excited about this one. I don't get very excited much, you know. People will be thinking, anyone who stumbled on this video who doesn't like vacuums will be thinking, what a saddo, he's excited by a vacuum cleaner. Well, yes. If, if I'm a saddo to be excited by a vacuum, then I'm a saddo, I admit it. But even people who don't appreciate vacuums, like a lot of my viewers, you might appreciate the retro styling of this. Ooh, it's gonna really beat the heck out of my piles, isn't it? My piles won't know what's hit them once I get that Vibra Groomer. I don't know if they called it Vibra Groomer. Is that a, a Eureka term? I think it could be. Right, folks. Whoops. Gonna have to open this packet, aren't I, to get the, um, am I? Yes, I am. Gonna have to open it to get the doodah out. Where's me thingy, Bob? Where's me? Here it is. I'm always losing me doobry. Let's slide over. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. You see, if you if you wish hard enough and you, you hope, there's still quite a few vacuums in the Holy Grail that I would love to own. I'm not saying what they are, but if I get them, you'll soon know about it. And this one, you know, it just came up and it was another sort of, it just came up in the suggestion box, you know, underneath when I was looking on e eBay. I wasn't even searching for it. Yeah, so we've got the two spare belts. Wasn't searching, it just popped up and I thought, oh, I like the look of that. And as my regulars will know, I'm a sucker for unused older vacuums. It's far, well, it's, it's different, you know. It's nice to get a really battered vacuum cleaner and clean it up. So you'll see if you watch uh, Beko 1987's channel, Sam Watson, he uh, takes wrecks of vacuums and improves them. And there's a lot of collectors that do that. Um, vacuum Mad 8. Um, and you know, if you don't have the budget to, to buy new, you can get old vacuums very cheaply. And if you've got the time and you've got a bit of know-how, you can clean them up. And it's a nice little hobby for people. I haven't got the time, <laughs> really, at the moment to, to spend on refurbishing vacuums. So it's nice to get ones that you just have to assemble. So what I'll do, let's get this assembled, folks. So we've got the lower handle and two two little screws right i don't know whether i should just pause ah oh, that's um uh, mm. does that go in there not sure which way around i don't know if it mm, i don't know if it matters it might not matter do you know what folks you don't want to see me assembling this or you might do but i'm going to assemble it Pause the video, assemble it, and then we'll see it in action. Well, folks, she's fully assembled, eventually. Shall we see if it works? Right, fingers crossed. Oof, eck, not that noisy. Let's see if it works with the, uh, well, it will work with the cover off. Can you see where the belt is a little bit kinked? Yeah, that rattling is the belt. Do you think I should put another one in? I don't know. It'll be all right for the, um, just for the purpose of the vid, I think. Oh, it's got the symbol. Yeah, it's not that tight, to be honest. Is that the correct way? I think it is. Let's find out, won't we? 
we'll see how it goes. Pop that back. And we'll give it a very brief go on the carpet, but I will be doing a nice big proper bago filth test with this one. Do you know folks, it's not that heavy really, considering it's quite big, it is pretty light. And I think, despite thinking it was plastic initially, yeah, I think that hood is metal. Yeah, the hood's metal. Did I say it was metal or plastic earlier? I can't remember. Anyway, the base is plastic. The hood is metal. Right. Oh, let's see. I don't want it on. Let's try it on medium on this particular, on regular carpet, but on the medium setting. Oh, no, 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 it didn't like that at all. Because, the brush wasn't going around, it could need a new belt. It's, it's struggling. We'll try it on shag, on medium. on low yeah, I think I'll put the new belt in I think it will benefit from a new belt but crikey it's pulling this pulling this bit of carpeting up I'll try it also on the, my regular low pile carpet, but yeah, let's put a new belt in and see if that improves matters. Well, folks, it's probably best that I didn't film fitting that belt because my video will certainly have been marked unsuitable for most advertisers due to the language and I've hurt my finger. That was so hard to do. Now I thought, oh, perhaps you slide the belt over the spindle first and then locate the roller, but not according to the instructions. So I had to locate the roller and then really, really pull at this belt to eventually get it on. But now I think the whole house is going to shake <laughs> when we try it now, because that is a very tightly fitted belt. Okay, let's close the cover and we'll give it another go. Okay, I'll leave it on, uh, I'm going to leave it on the shag setting. Right. they say. Heck! That beats the Nilco. That beats the Nilco. Wow. <laughs> it just absolutely lifted the pile up. Now the carpet under here is due for replacement soon. Maybe by the time you see this video it will have been replaced and it's going to be replaced with something of this sort. Not this colour but this sort of pile. But let's just try it on this very short pile carpet. I think I'll lower the cleaning head. I'll go over to the carpet side and try on medium. That is, you know, as I said, I had one of the um, later sort of Sanitaire Electrolux branded ones without the wide track, but it was a much more um, modern version than this. That, n that did not bring up the carpet or beat the carpet like this one. Wow. Well, that is certainly a video you'll want to be tuning in for the big mess test 
Taming the Beast Part 3. Because this, uh, at some time, the Nilco I think stored away now at my mum's house. But it would make um, a nice versus video. The Nilco against this. I think this one, to be honest, because of the beat. I think the Nilco only has brushes. I don't think it has any beta bars. This will, this will beat it. Pardon the pun. Well, I'm really pleased with that. We'll have a few more shots. And then that'll be the end of this particular unboxing and first look. I think the belt slipped off <laughs> so there's no way I'm going to uh, attempt to put that back on I hope it slipped and not uh, broken now what it's my fault because I didn't achieve didn't change the setting did I I went straight on to a thicker pile from the short pile and left it on low carpet so naughty Roger let's see what I've done to it shall we anyway I think this will this is a uh, the time I should end the video. I hope that's all it was. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, it's completely snapped. Now that could be because it's an old belt. It's a new belt, but it's obviously been in storage for a long time. That could be the reason, hopefully, but of course user error could be to blame as well. I should have changed the setting. I got so giddy and excited. And it's got a load of... Um, it seems to have rubbed... The metal seems to have rubbed off on the spindle somehow. So I'm not going to... I'm getting all dirty. I'm not going to attempt at this stage, folks, to uh, recommence this part of the demo. But I'll just pop it away. This will be seen again. I think I'll, I better buy some new belts for it. Some newly manufactured belts just to make sure i'll have a bit more room to put down some dirt and you'll see the cleaner fully in action properly i can't really expand the view at the moment because the rest of the living room is in a right old state so uh anyway you get the gist it's a very powerful vacuum and of course it's a dirty fan direct air cleaner so any commercial environment that had that cleaning its carpets wouldn't have had many complaints. But uh, hopefully the belt will last a bit longer than that when I do the full demo. So until the next time from me and this Electrolux wide track vacuum, it's goodbye. If you have any comments or questions, ask them below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.